Good morning to you all out there and welcome to another um, segment Sea Fishing with Paul. Please, please accept my apologies. Um, I've been um, not really doing a lot like the rest of us over the last couple of months and uh, I think um, I had a little bit of a good excuse for not coming down here. But that's another story and hopefully we've got a little bit of freedom. I'm not going to dwell on Covid, it's depressed all of us enough I think kind of made me very anxious and I'm sure an awful lot of other people out there. Down at a place called The Buckle today, um, came down yesterday, weather was horrible, was going to have a go fishing but you know what it's like, you get all your tackle and bits out of the car, put it all out, chuck it out, weight comes straight back in. So I went home, drank beer instead and um, karma today, nice and sunny. The only downside is I've got all these bloody lorries moving shingle behind me which are clattering up and down. But I'm going to buzz a rod out. I'm aiming to try and, well, catch anything really. But they've been pulling a few plates out here so you never know, might get a place. So I'm going to fish one rod um, reasonably uh, close in with this old fellow which is the old continental rod typical um, trace rig which you will have all come across and we've all got different patterns but uh, the one that I use is a little quirky it's that and the only reason I put that little red uh, floaty ball in there is it lifts the bait off the bottom and stops the crabs ragging it because there are a few of them around here but I'm going to stop wittering and um, a few fishermen turning up my buddy Ross is due shortly. I would have fished a bit further that way, but loads of swimmers. So let's get this rod out. So the first cast in quite a few months. And a uh, couple of boats out, little itty bitty boats going out, probably doing the same as me and an awful lot of other people in uh, England uh, over the last several days. But uh, I'm using a 15 foot continental rod I've got a uh, clip down single hook place rig and a casting bullet so uh, this will be interesting, not really used them a lot. Oh, that went out okay, bloody hell. Huh. I'm not impressed with that. Why I haven't used a continental rod sooner I really don't know but uh, Ross uses them and he uses them really effectively and he often beats me so uh, I've moved. Boys and girls we have the inaugural launch um, just make sure you're not stood on the fishing line. Um, my buddy Ross is now down here He's as fascinated as I am, so here we go. No, it's okay there, Ross, it's fine. So I'm going to get her up in the sky. And then... So we've had one uh, drone launch and big thanks to uh, DJI for all the bits. Change the bait on this one and I'm going to have another crack with the old drone and see if we can get it out a couple of hundred metres. It's got really busy down here and also really 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 hot but I've just met two really nice um, fisher guys. One's, uh, well they're both reasonably local, one's retired, really nice fellow, and um, the other chap's a, works in the funeral trade and also a really, really nice chap. But obviously he's been a little bit busy in the last um, several months, sadly, but uh, there we go, it's kind of life. 
Not a lot going on. It's hot, it's bright. No one else has caught any fish up or down and I'm just about to uh, sling this out. So, um, fingers crossed, the uh, baits come back in again nibbled. So something has been eating it. And this casting bullet does take a bloody wee while of getting used to, I have to say. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. But uh, he says, as it just unclips, well, let's have a bosh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Tide's coming in, sea's nice and calm, and there's always that hope and anticipation. So here we go. You can see what I mean by the um, state of the water and given that we're trying to fish for place um, it's probably not really going to work today because the water's quite cloudy and place are a sight hunting species but we'll see. Right. Second drone launch. Here we go. We've got it out above the sea and it's hovering quite happily. We're 41 metres out, so I'm going to stick it out to, to... Keeps getting blown by the breeze. I think that'll do. It's 174 odd meters out there, so uh, uh, 195 even. Right, light on. Wait away, way. How cool's that? <laughs> right, bring her back. Way. Somebody's just caught a little whiting. Shows there are some fish out there after all. Right, here we go. There we go. My helper, Ross, is very kindly <laughs> tightening up the line. Hey, good man. You can see the lorry trundling along the beach, which has come from the splash point end of Seaford with a load of uh, shingle. So the shingle gets pushed down with the tidal drift and they're pulling it up towards um, tide mills and there's diggers and doing, and they've been going all day since about seven this morning, and it kind of spoils the rather pretty scene of the sea on a spring day. That chap's wearing shorts, I wish I'd worn mine. He's had one whiting, and no one else has had anything. Um, hopefully we get something, but if I don't, it's just been nice to be out. Um, I've used the drone, so I fished one rod in traditional and boshed out the drone a couple of hundred metres. So it'd be interesting to see if uh, we pick anything up on it. The chap out at sea in a sieve and makes me think of Fish Hunter UK, who does make me chuckle, I have to say. Very varied videos and quite interesting. And I've learnt a little bit about um, fish farms that I never knew about before. But I um, wanted to shout out to a, a couple of people. Kent's Fishing, a fellow I've sort of um, made long distance friends with in South Africa and um, very, very different fishing style to us in the UK. But a nice, nice chat, really cool scenery, really cool fish. I wish we caught a few fish like that over here. And the other person I'd like to shout out to is Hazel. Um, 
because a couple of people have asked me where I get my bait from, and I get it from a company called Hookers. Um, yeah, the, 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 the double um, whatever in the name, I think, somewhere there. Uh, but she's really, really helpful. Bates always turns up on time, as it should do, and is always in good order. I generally get black lug from her, sort of a hundred worms at a time, and then those that I haven't used, I salt down. The um, wind has most definitely gone round southeasterly, and you can certainly feel the change. Um, it's blowing a bit of mist off the sea. The sea's got a little more little bit more wind chop in it, although I wouldn't really call it uh, rough. And my rods have ominously been not moving other than in the wind. Nothing. Now I'm getting to that stage of desperation. I've waited patiently for the tide to come in, which is probably two-thirds of the way in. Um, out, I don't know, ten yards, see in front of me, we can just see it. Staring at the rod tips in a rather discons... get the words out, discon... I can't even say the word. I'm not going to bother with that word, I'll use another one. Staring at the rod tip with desperation, I think, is the word I would use. Look I at thought, after so long, <laughs> let's celebrate. No, well, I'm all for, I was just thinking, I, I'm a bit thirsty. Look what I got <laughs> from very kind Ross. Now, I, I think that's a bloody good idea. Generally, you shouldn't drink and fish. We don't usually drink, but... but we're going to bend that rule today. Jeez. Good health on you, fellow. Bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you, chap. This reminds me of my uncle, um, bless him, wherever you are Michael, looking down chat, cheers to you fellow. I hope he was a nice man. He was a nice chap, yeah. That's amazing isn't it? He had his faults, but all of us have faults. Um, some we know about and some others know about, but yeah. He looked after me really well when I was a kid. Good. Good. Right, let's little have a reel in. Look at that very nice can of Stella. I'm not holding up a lot of hope with this. And from the feel of it, it feels like there's nothing on here at all. Oh, the tide's coming in. I hope it doesn't come much higher because I might have to move my little shack. Look what we got on here. Zip. Any bait on here? No. How do they do that? They take the bait off. What's going on? Well, I suppose something's been nibbling it, but I suspect it's probably bloody crab. So I'm going to get rebaited and get it back out there. Again. The day has not been totally lost because Ross, as ever, has got himself a rockling. And they often say that if you get rockling, that's not very good. You're just going to keep getting rockling. But a fish is a fish. There's the champion, he's beaten me again. Let's it's... hope that we get some more. Well, let's hope so, fellow. It's got to stop. Yeah, well, look at that. Well, hey! <laughs> Save the day. Well done, chap. The image here I've been dreaming about for months and months since before Christmas. And reality is now here. But the reality of today is no fish. And... I don't know whether to be depressed or happy because I've got a little bit of freedom back and I can go fishing. I think I'm going to opt for the happy I've got the freedom and I can go fishing. So to you all out there, I'm now down to one rod and uh, I'm going to stay for maybe another hour 
the sun is shining on my uh, rather um, old hairless head and the rod that I flew out with the drone several hundred um, meters all that happened was the tide dragged it round I should have put a bigger weight on but there we go you learn don't you maybe next time uh, tide is well high tide was 20 minutes ago and in the whole day we've just had one rockling which Ross caught not me so I think it's one of those days today I'm going to chuck this out with the hope of a place but I think what's going to happen is going home time uh, in about half an hour and going to call it a day but uh, it happens really disappointing beautiful day but first day of freedom so I can't really complain and I'm going to go again maybe on Friday but we'll see but uh, if I get a fish I'll come back to camera if not thanks for watching boys and girls much much appreciated all of you take care stay safe thanks for all the subscribers and until the next one take care bye bye